building's history, know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Those free vacation coupons you received in the mail were a trick, luring you into a game with deadly consequences. Only one of you will survive. It's all pretty standard family vacation stuff. Okay, first question. For whom does Chef Ina Garten often cook on her show, Barefoot Contessa? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you... Time for consequences. Doom service, work room 113. I hope you like gifts. Help yourself to a totem that represents my family drama. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Choose wisely. Or randomly, you know, it's up to you. Ah, my grandpappy Jack's glasses. They say they let him see things no mortal mind can comprehend. He succumbed to supernatural madness. So, that's not exactly good news for you, huh? Let's keep moving. This elevator's going up, regardless of whether your score is. Let's try another one. Which of these vegetables is technically a flower? <laughs> Who picked this? The rest of you, follow me. Welcome back to the killing room. Let's roll them bones. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. It's kind of spooky to see skulls on dice. Ooh. Stop. I see you're unlucky in dice. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. You're a ghost now, but you have options. Keep playing, and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. My criminal profile says I'm reserved, a perfectionist, and emotionally detached. Aw, that's really sweet. Which of these could be my Myers-Briggs personality type? Picked this. 
one of you is still alive. I want to show you something. Oh look, it's the loser wheel. Spin it, it's fun. Just like the price is right, but totally different for legal reasons. Weird. I didn't know that was possible. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. Which of these book sequels is not real? Who picked this? Come with me. Let's do a spooky handwriting test. The ghost of my Aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. Pay attention to her unique handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word, but so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror, and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. Let the drawing begin. Watch closely. One of these new words will be a word written by Aunt Mildred's ghost. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote, or you die. Uh. Enter the right word now, or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Looks like there's no fooling you. Aren't you special? You know what that means. <laughs> Let's try another one. I love to cook. Which of my bloody kitchen knives is curved upward? Who picked this? It's time. I'm giving you all scratch tickets. What a quirky last minute gift. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. If you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Get to scratching. Ooh, wouldn't it feel good to scratch some more spots? The contest is almost over. It's no fun for me if you don't scratch more spots. If you have a losing ticket, come with me. Did I forget to mention that when my grandpappy died wearing his creepy glasses, Every living person nearby came down with the same supernatural madness. Did, did I forget to mention that? But I'm sure you'll be okay. Let's keep moving. 
If you're being eaten by an animal that has thousands of teeth, you're being chewed up by what? Who picked this? Welp, didn't want that to happen. Let's try another one. What is a sugar glider? Who picked this? Come with me. Why don't we just relax and play the game Quiplash? The game will send a funny writing prompt to your devices. Type in the funniest answer you can think of and hit send. This timer is a little longer, and I'm letting everyone know, so if you don't write anything good, they know it's your fault. Okay, let's see what gags and goofs you guys came up with. Best name for an all-skeleton jazz band. All right, everyone else, vote for the answer you like the best. The player who wrote the answer with the fewest votes dies. Let's see the votes. I break all ties, especially when I think one of the answers is hot garbage. Let's keep moving. About how long did it take to construct the Taj Mahal? Who picked this? Time for consequences. I'm going to give you a chance to password protect your life. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Don't make it easy. If someone cracks your password, you... Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. If anyone figures out the password before time runs... What's the opposite of a firewall? Because that's you. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Disney villains. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Moving on. Quadrilaterals.
monsters who fought Godzilla. There's not much time. I'm Dr. Caralda, a licensed physician of the mystical arts. You seem to have been infected by a supernatural madness. The spirit world is getting all up inside of your brain. Quickly, you need to answer this question correctly or forever be tormented by spooky apparitions. What is a foot equal to? Kind of a softball, honestly, but important nonetheless. It all comes down to this. You did it! You're free of the evil! If anyone asks, I was never here! By law, I'm not allowed to set foot in a hospital anymore. Bye. 